We're looking forward to what Nate can do. I mean, everyone in this organization has got a lot of confidence in Nate because of what he's shown on the practice field. Every time we've asked him to do something, he's able to done that full speed ahead, and there's never been a, a doubt. Um, but there's definitely going to be a little bit of a, of a grace period or learning curve, you could call it. Right. Does it help that you actually saw him, saw him do it in game action? I mean, it's great that he can do it in practice, but he's been out there and he's succeeded for you. Yeah, I mean, he's played, uh, obviously, um, against the Redskins in Week 17 last year. Um, it's a little different. Um, at the same time, every time he's had the opportunity to go out and play, he's delivered. And you can only judge someone based off the experiences they have. You can't judge them off of anything that's hypothetical because that just hasn't occurred for him. Um, but like I said, we're extremely confident in, in his ability to play quarterback. And hopefully that situation never even comes about. That's, that, that's the goal for this year for everyone. Uh, but if that situation were to play out, I think everyone has a lot of confidence in him. What are you leaving for your uh, fr Friday. Friday, I'll be at it. How long are you going to be over there? The return flight is after the final, so that is the plan. Train, training wise, how do you, you've already made plans on yep. how to do that? Yep, so, already? yep. Training plans, uh, meal plan, everything's already taken care of. So, the, believe me, that was a big kind of, uh, that was a big question mark early on for me. I'm like, what am I going to do for three weeks, hopefully? But, I mean, typically after the off season program, I take a week off. And uh, anyway, uh, we've been, grinding for nine weeks straight out here so the first week after the summer is always just kind of relax take a deep breath focus on what i need to focus on um and anthony mahungu who was here last year for training camp mm -hmm. he's from paris so i've okay. i've kept in touch with him he's helped me out a lot setting stuff up over there so i'm excited about going over there um but the focus for me and not a, is obviously going to be supporting my wife but also being in the best shape i can be for the season so you don't have to worry about whether the hotel is a fitness room yeah no, no 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 <laughs> a lot a lot bigger places than that obviously we reached out to every soccer club every uh institute of sport they have out there so i'm in good hands are you going to do that uh football camp at ridley uh so the, the timing just hasn't okay. Uh, obviously, with the World Cup this summer, it just wasn't able to come about. But that's something that probably in the next year or two we'll definitely uh, look at doing something again. Okay, another question. Do you need to have uh, get more of a challenge from the defensive backs that are here in practice to, to be a better player? Uh, I'm just focusing on being the best player I can be. I mean, obviously, the guys are doing a great job. Um, obviously, not everyone's here. Um, but at the same time, I mean, the past couple of competition days have, as a group, they've kind of gotten after us. So uh, I'm just trying to be the best tight end I can be. Carson and I are banking these reps like we always do. We feel like we're on, uh, having a lot of success out there together. Uh, and I'm just trying to focus on the little things. So what, when, you, when you say getting after them, what, what do you mean by that? What are the defense doing? Uh, I mean, like, they've gotten lucky a few times, um, like random holding. That, so, I mean, we only have like two reps out there, so it's like crazy. Like I seen number thirty. Rips. Number thirty-two is just he like grabbing all the time. I mean, at the end of the day, he's not really trusting his technique. So I'm trying to coach him up too, okay. seeing what I see. So you're coaching the receivers, tight end, and the DB. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, whatever it takes for us to be successful come February. I like that you're a team guy. Yeah, whatever it takes. Yeah, I was just talking to JJ down there. He said you kind of help him out a lot. Just... Yeah, I mean, a Stanford guy's got to stick together. So I mean, any young receiver that is open to listening, I want to help out. Obviously, J.J. Stanford guy. I mean, I've known him for a long time. He's a great player. He's mossed a lot of DBs early this spring. So I'm just trying to help all the guys out. Who's the toughest DB in house to face? Uh, I mean, Russell's a great player. Uh, we got a lot of good DBs. This is definitely the deepest DB group we've ever had in my seven years now here, um, especially at the cornerback position. Um, they do a lot of good things. What's it been like syncing up with Wentz, uh, getting to, to know how he throws the ball and stuff like that? Has that been an easy process? Has it been difficult? Um, I mean, it was difficult at first just because, you know, it's my first time here. Uh, ball's coming at a different speed. You know, everything's happening faster. I'm learning all these plays, um, you know, right out, right off the back. But, uh, you know, I just, uh, just been in the playbook, uh, having conversations with him, you know, knowing him on a personal level as far as um, also on the football field. and. You know, just being able to connect with them and being able to make those connections on the field just been great. What do you found out about him? What do you What do you know about him that you didn't know when you were drafted? Uh, I mean, you know, I, I think we're uh, probably kind of like 
it's the same person. I mean, just by everybody here, it's the same person. We all want to be the best player we can be. Um, and when we're not, you know, we want to make sure we do whatever we can to be that best player. So, you know, it's cool because, like, you know, the whole locker room is like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, me and Carson just every day just developing a better better and better relationship. We're not here every day, but I, two weeks in a row we've seen you make twisting, turning catches in the end zone. Uh, you know, where you had to really track the ball and, and go up and shield it. Uh, I know that's kind of something you're known for. How do you tell, walk me through that. How do you do something like that? I mean, just go up and get the ball. Yeah. Uh, Y'all guys came on uh, good days. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, when it's the red zone, just, you just got to go get it. Um, there's no other way to put it. Because of that skill, did it take Carson a little bit of time to, because the quarterback has to kind of trust the receiver. Mm. in that position did did he kind of trust you right away or did it take a little bit of time oh yeah it definitely took some time like we, we get some some fades some back shoulders all that after practice every day um but you know those things don't just happen over time they happen or not happen immediately they happen over time and you know we uh we definitely try to put the work in and perfect it um you know immediately like uh, i've ran a lot of post-up routes in college um we don't have any that in the playbook so i have to change up a little bit of what i do um, and adjust to how Carson throws the ball, but you know he's gonna put on the money every time. So without those routes, does it still kind of translate those skills to other routes? Yeah, I mean honestly, it's probably a harder to do it before than it is now, because um, now it's just like just go up and get it instead of you know lean your weight on somebody and then go get it. Um, but at the same time, like just adjusting to the speed of the ball, um, the timing, everything's just a little bit different, but it goes a long way. There is no perfect formula for backing up because you have to, you know. You have to just be ready. Every nobody cares if you got no reps with the ones all week. You have to go in and perform. You know, so it's about you know just working at your craft every day. And one thing with Carson, I'm just trying to be in his ear and see how he likes you know to run the stuff. So if something happens and I go in the game, say we're up by a lot, hopefully is the case, and I get to go in the fourth quarter, we can kind of stay with the same game plan. And I you know pick it up where he left off. So you know, but it's 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 a work in progress. It's not easy. Um, but it's, it's fun. Is it a, a different, lot of a different you feeling for you coming in into this year? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a much different feeling. I mean, I feel like there's a lot of urgency on my part. You know, last year, this year, every year, you're trying to earn it and prove it every snap. Um, but it is, you know, nice to be in year three in the system. So I really feel like I understand a lot of the concepts, what, what coaches are asking of us and, you know, knowing personnel. So who's, you know, who's particularly good at what route and things like that. So that stuff has been able to have everything slow down for me a lot. But when it comes down to it, I mean, ultimately you're playing with 11 guys. You got to find the guy who's open and get it to him. So still, still a work in progress. Nate, you had the one uh, end zone fade pass to uh, JJ and everything. I was just kind of wondering, like, how comfortable you are throwing them and what you think about JJ catching yeah. those passes. JJ, I've been really, you know, happy with JJ. Obviously, I mean, he works with, you know, the ones and the twos. He's getting a ton of reps right now. And yeah, he's a young, hungry kid. He's been, he's been awesome, man. He uh, high points the ball really well, has great feel great hands he's a great red zone threat but he's great in the open field too so having him and some of these young players have been awesome and he's he's doing a great job what was so that a lot of guys talk about touchdown. yeah sorry what was the move oh, that uh, he made today i don't want to give it away too much because uh, it was it was a nice little new play but he just did a good job working the corner hopefully we can pull that one out during the season so a lot of guys talk about they want an OTAs to get better every day what's your personal metric to see whether you're getting better every day it's hard to give a personal metric exactly because some days it's the situation is third and 18 and you have to convert or check it down or whatever. So if you're three for three for 10 yards, you're like, uh, but it, you know, maybe that's what the situation called for. And if it's fourth and one, those days you're like, if we get the first down, that's a success, whether it's handing it off or checking to a run or whatever. So yeah, it's hard. It's kind of, it's, it's not really tangible some days, but I think if I make all my right checks, and playing fast, putting the ball, you know, in a situation to be caught or you know an accurate throw, um, I think it's a successful day. So I've been pretty pleased so far. Was today as accurate as you've thrown the ball in the OTAs? It has been probably since we've on the days we've seen. It seems like <laughs> you know you're pretty accurate, made good decisions. Yeah, uh, I felt like today was like a solid day. Um, accuracy wise, it felt like there were one or two that you know maybe could have put a little bit more accurate, but you know I feel like. It's been a solid OTA session, um, but yeah, still trying to improve, get better, you know, but 
I feel like it's been a been a good OTA session. Hey, did you uh, champion for yourself uh, during the offseason at all in terms of champion? You know, wanting uh, you know to to be the, the guy that was Carson's backup. I mean, did you, oh, or how did you how did you handle that? I'm sure it was. A I, yeah, nothing's really point. changed uh, in terms of. I mean. I don't have to talk about, I mean, everybody knows we're all competing with ourselves, you know, competition's a, you know, funny word. I mean, yeah, we're competing, but it's not like, you know, I'm racing another guy or like it's, but you're just trying to work on yourself. The OTAs is a great time for everybody to kind of work on their craft. You know, you hear it a million times, but so many cool situations you get to work through. You get to try to, you know, try some things out, work different footworks, you know, things like that. But. Overall, I'm just trying to, you know, put my best foot forward every single day, prove to my teammates and coaches that they can trust me, that, you know, I can put the ball where it needs to be, I can play fast, I can, you know, um, make good decisions, things like that. So it's just a one day at a time process. And, you know, like I was saying earlier, it's a lease, man. It's, you don't own it, you have to earn it every day. You can't be like, oh, I balled yesterday, so today I'll come in and just force the ball around. You got to play each day, each situation for what it is and try to, just keep improving. At the same time, the organization had not, you know, they had a decision about which direction they're going to go in after Nick leaves. Uh, what does it mean to uh, for them to at least have you in a position to be competing for that? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, everybody just wants an opportunity to compete, um, to, you know, move up the ladder or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just really excited. I feel like it's a great opportunity at hand. Um, I feel like I'm feel very prepared for this opportunity and I'm just trying to again put my best foot forward every day show the coaches they can trust me and, and you know all that stuff but I, I'm really excited about the opportunity yeah my family don't like Dallas Cowboys so I don't, I don't like Cowboys at all so they're, they're very happy with it well. oh yeah definitely yeah, definitely how much better do you feel just day by day now here you are another week of OTAs can you even feel the difference between now and the OTAs first started yeah, I'm a lot more comfortable, but still a lot of room to get better. You know, it's definitely different. Where do you feel like that room to get better is? Uh, you know, keep getting stronger, definitely keep getting stronger. You know, a lot of these old linemen are stronger than college. And, uh, you know, the speed is a little faster, so just got to just keep working every day. When you watch film of your practices, what are you seeing from number 84? I'm gonna just gonna see a guy that's got to continue to grind, continue to take uh, take notice of the little details of the situations, and uh, just trying to hone in on those and do those things right. It's easy to go out there and do the things that big picture, but the little details is some things I still got to learn about, some things I still got to master. So I'm focusing in on those. I guess you've been around long enough to know that you know you don't take anything for granted. Nah, I can't take anything for granted, man. Uh, every day we're not promised to be here to, tomorrow, so we got to take for, take granted of every day. So. And so I'm enjoying it, man. Does your experience give you kind of a leg up on some of the other young guys? Or... Um, I don't know. I don't know if I could say that. I mean, uh, me being an older guy, I mean, I guess this, this, this league is developing to a younger league. And uh, I mean, I just try to go out there and I got a lot of knowledge. I've played a lot, a, lot of, a lot of years around a lot of guys, learned from a lot of guys. So try to take the little knowledge I got and spread it to those young guys and tell them, hey, this is what I see, this is what I feel. These some of the techniques I've used and what I've learned over the years, and uh, just try to spread it on the deal because, I mean, we're trying to be the best team we can be, not just being individuals. You mentioned this is a, a young league, it's a developmental league. You're not a young guy anymore, you're 30, right? Um, yeah, I'm 30, I'm still you, young though. Okay, I hear <laughs> yeah. you, in real life you're young. Yeah. Um, but how do you kind of view your chances here? Because a, a lot of teams probably view you in a certain way because you're 30. And, and um, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, it's, in the NFL, the, the age is always going to be something that everybody looks at. And I, mean, I just don't even focus on that. I still feel young. I still feel like I can go out there and compete with anybody. You can line me up to next to 21-year-old, and I can guarantee he's not going to beat me in a race. He's not going to be more explosive than me. That's just my mindset. So I just got to continue to attack each day like that and just go out there and just go out there and play because I love the game and not too much worried about anything else. How's the chemistry going with Carson? Um, it's, it's coming along, man. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to get more throw, throws with him and individual and stuff, just trying to see how he throws the ball, how, his, how it comes off his hand, he can see how I run routes. And uh, it's just something that's going to take time and just keep going day after day. So it's been fun. Do you, do you think that room brings out the best in everybody? I mean, there's just a lot of talent in that wide receiver room. Yeah, man, I think that's one of the best things about it. we got a lot of talent. So if, 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 a, if a guy goes down in our room, we, we got confidence in the next guy stepping up and being able to go out there and compete and not really missing a beat. 
And um, I think that's what makes our team better is when there's competition at every level, not only one versus two, but one, twos, and threes at all levels. So, I mean, I think our room is one of those rooms that's going to really set fire and we're going to push one another. How valuable is a day like today? You know, top three guys, you know, wide receivers, Mark Warren out there today. So, you know, giving you guys like you and other guys a chance. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's always good to go out there and get the extra rest. I mean, sometimes it's like, hey, hold on. My legs, I'm running a little, I'm running a lot, but I mean, you just gotta, you just gotta bite down, grind, and go out there and just take advantage of the opportunities, man, and just go out there and make your plays, not too much worried about it. Coach will take care of everything, and just when your numbers call, go try to make a play. What do you do, Charles, um, after next week? How do you kind of ramp up for training camp? What's your routine? Um, I'm gonna first uh, take a little break. I mean, I've been, I came from the AAF, yeah. so I was going straight from nine weeks of football in a training camp to here, and I haven't really had a break, so I'm gonna take myself at least a couple of days off and. And just go in and focus on the little things that I need to feel like I need to get better on coming from this from uh, OTAs and the little things that I feel like I need to work on and just go from there and come back and be ready for training camp. What was the AF experience like? AF was really fun, man. I, I mean, I miss it to an extent. I miss the guys I played around and I missed all the, the atmosphere. It, it was great. I thought it was going to be a really good league and unfortunately it folded, but that's how it is, man. Did it take some time to get your legs back, or did you feel like you were in really great shape coming in? Yeah, I was in pretty good shape coming yeah. in. I mean, I was kind of tired. You know, I was played, played in some games. I was getting hit, and um, I caught a lot of balls and was getting hit. So, I mean, I was a little beat up, but it just kind of just kept rolling. I was just rolling with it, just like it was normal week, normal year. You were definitely in shape, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to be in shape. <laughs> so you, you would assess your last three weeks as being pretty good then? How would you assess the last three um, weeks? Last three weeks, I mean, it, it's been, I say, kind of up and down, man. I just kind of been trying to do little things, the littlest things I can, but try to do them the best that I can. And there's times where I come out and I feel like I've had a good day. There's some times I come out and I'm like, man, I, I, I maybe just didn't get off a release as good as I wanted to. It's just little things I try to focus on each day. And if I don't do good on the, the things that I'm focusing on that day, it's usually a bad day for me. So it's kind of just, just kind of go out there, man. I just kind of go out there, grind, be happy, and focus on the thing that I'm focusing on that day. How much has your level of appreciation, your level of concentration grown kind of in the second stint, knowing what you know now and what you went through early? Oh, um, I mean, I've been pretty appreciative of all the opportunities I've been blessed with. Um, I don't take for granted anything, and uh, I just try to tell everybody like these these opportunities don't come around very often, and you gotta. I think about it all the time what I'm giving up to be here. Um, I mean, I got a family at home, kids that I'm missing, and uh, I'm missing them grow up. And I got a father who's, who's ill, who's dying, that I'm missing to be here. So I go out there every day, and I'm like, I'm missing all that to be here. So I'm not gonna go out there and waste it. So that's where, how I approach. Where are they? Oh, uh, back home in Kentucky. Yeah. Um, I guess that's kind of the payoff for you is that you're still doing what you love to do. Yeah, man. Like, I, do you ever weigh it? Like, yeah. When I tell her, I tell guys, especially when I was in AAF, uh, I tell them once I start, once I stop having fun, once I start loving it, I ain't gonna play. It's no, it's no point. And uh, kind of lost that love at one point in my career in the NFL, and I found it again. So I'm just trying to enjoy it. I'm trying to be happy with everything and uh, not worry about too much, man. Sometimes it can get stressful in this in this business, but I'm just trying to be happy, smile. And hey, I'm alive. I'm happy. I'm doing what I love to do, so I'm gonna do it. So, the uh, having to be more aggressive does, does that suit your game, or is it something that you have to sort of remind yourself of? Uh, I just, you, you know, I just gotta switch my mind. I'm not tackling anymore. You know, um, I just gotta go out there and uh, you know help the team. Gotta can't, attack faster. Can't kick out. To, you know, no, I mean, yeah. Like I mean, if you would kick out, I mean, like over said, it's closer to the quarterback than tackle. There is a lot of depth on this line. Does that help create more competition as you get closer to training camp? I mean, it's just, you know, trying to have weapons on, on offense, you know, try to do whatever to help the team win. This team, regardless of the position, I mean, versatility is something they seem to value. Yeah. yeah. So no one I mean, if you, if you can play more than one position, it's really good. Right. Um, you know, if something were to happen, uh, just like, you know, what happened to Jason Peters, you know, um, if, if you have guys that can play like guard and tackle, it's really good. What's your comfort you, level like on the inside? That's good. Um, um, I have a lot of good guys. You know, I got Wiz, I got Isaac, you know, then Brooks. They're all helping me with uh, my technique and so we'll see. What, what have some of those notes been from those guys as you start to cross your inside? Sorry, what have some of the notes been from some of those guys as you start to cross your inside? Um, you just got to have your hands ready. Um, you don't want to have them low like you are in tackle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you just want to have them high and uh, I think you'll be okay.
people on you quicker is probably yeah. the biggest difference. That's yeah, that's the biggest difference. Really but, you know, I'm open minded. Um, I wanted to learn and take on this new, uh, to learn guard, so. You played both with tackle spots. So yeah, left, I did. Left, right's never been it's just like that, but, you know, learning guard. So, just trying to do whatever to help the organization win. Do you feel like you'll, you'll have a better sense of, of what it's really like once, uh, once the pads come on in the summer? Yeah. Um, I can start to feel, grab, using shoulder pads. Um, it'll be fun.